The Community Redevelopment Agency provided almost $2 million from tourist development tax money to TLH Arts Inc. Now, that money may be taken away after they collaborated with another arts foundation. ABC 27's Shanice Archer tells us how the Sheridan Foundation will develop a center for the arts at the Northwood Center. The Sheridan Center has raised $6 million to fund their new art center that's now a part of the Northwood Center Master Plan. So we want to make this all-inclusive for uh, Tallahassee nonprofits and the citizens of Tallahassee to use. Judy W. Sheridan is on the board of the Sheridan Foundation, and she says the center will be an opportunity for everyone to enjoy the arts, and TLH Arts is in on this collaboration. Last year, TLH Arts was given a $1.8 million grant from the Community Redevelopment Agency, and that money came from the Tourist Development Tax Funding. The TLH Arts Project was headed to Railroad Square in the CRA's district. And because of the collaboration with the Sheridan Center, TLH Arts can no longer use the CRA funds, according to an agreement with Leon County. But Sheridan says she's hoping the CRA board will consider giving her foundation the funding. And we certainly hope that we could be um, a recipient of that money. We hope that... Um, they would see fit to perhaps include us in this. Sheridan says the TLH Arts is in support of her foundation receiving the funds. And Jake Kiker, TLH Arts board member, says working together will help them give the community a multifunctional performing arts center. According to Sheridan, although they've received millions to get this project going, more funding is needed. We are uh, hoping that CRI, CRA will give us that opportunity. In Tallahassee, Shanice Archer, ABC 27. And it's up to the CRA board, city and county commissioners to make that final decision at Thursday's board meeting starting at 930 in the morning at the city commission chambers. Now, if you're unable to attend in person, you can tune in live. All you have to do is go to talgov.com or the city of Tallahassee's Facebook or Twitter pages.